What is going on everyone? Commodore Last here, bringing to you guys my reaction slash review of Jujutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 227. Now, we are back from break. We're here to sit down and read the latest installment of Akutama Gege's masterpiece provided to us by the good people over at TCB. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. The manga's back. We have 80 million copies in circulation for Akutama Gege's masterpiece. This right here, in conjunction with the rest of the volumes, I know this is more the data book stuff, but regardless, money is money. We respect the bag chasers, right? And that's exactly what we are right here. We are getting bags on bags on bags. And to do that makes you a world champion. We love to see it, man. The manga's going in. We have the cover of Jump. We have the lead color page. Third popularity poll, apparently it's out. I want to try and keep that separate to this video because I do want to talk about it a little bit in detail because there are some stuff that's a little bit, uh, I think, worth of discussion possibly. So maybe on the weekend I might have that out. Maybe it'll be a stream. We'll see. The anime is set to come back next Thursday, which is going to be incredible. What a day to come back on as well. I am, though, in talks right now, possibly getting an editor to help me out with my coverage of the anime week in, week out. Similar to what I did with Bleach, you know, the chopped edits and stuff here and there, something like that. If you know somebody who actually does edits, uh, somebody that, you know, talks, you know, helps out in terms of, like, anime reactions, that kind of stuff, send them my way, at Commodore Labs on Twitter, you want to hit me up from there, or if you want to, you know, hit my email up, business inquiries, all that's on the About page on the YouTube channel. So definitely want to try and take those in consideration, and if you want to help out, I'm definitely all ears, man, because, look, when you're trying to t take care of so much content and all these things are going on, sometimes you get burnt out, sometimes your mind goes crazy. There's too much heat that's on, and uh, if you have too much heat in the kitchen, it's just going to blow up. But right now, the time is here. we got to talk about the manga and get into this chapter that I've been waiting a solid minute, man. Gojo had the lockup. He said, I'm going to do my best JY impression, hit the red bang, bang, gang, like he's Bullet Club Gold. And the tides have turned a smidge, potentially. So, Sakuna, have to hold that firmly. But how much more can we see changing the whole entire dynamic, everything going on with this fight? I have to read it. So, let's get into the chapter. Here we go, man. And we see the cover right here. We got Yuji on the left-hand side, throwing up a fist and everything there. And I see Gojo right there on the bottom, doing up... At, which finger is that supposed to be? It don't matter, man. Maybe flipping the bird after the fact. Who knows? But uh, no, nah, this is the actual Beast cover. And I see here Marshall on the bottom and stuff. And I know, I think that series just came to an end, I think, in this issue. So it was a series that I kind of enjoyed. Little parts here in the beginning, but never really stuck on with me. But uh, for those who enjoyed it, hope you got a good ending out of it and everything. But yeah, that's a nice cover. <sighs> Wait a second, ladies. Hold on. Nah, bro. Let me zoom out for a second. Let me put the belt back on, bro. I'm so tempted to get the other ones out too, but let me just, at least for one, because we know this is world championship status right here, man. I see my boy Yuji right there in the corner, right? He's grimacing. He's watching on the telly. He's like, damn, man, these beasts are really going at it. And then when you look over here in the middle sections, I see Sakuna rocked up, hold on his head, like, Sakakina. He's got, like, the burn mark on his face afterwards from getting the red... And then you just see the beast himself, bro. The man that we call the present-day sorcerer god. He might have markings on his face. He could have used RCT. And if you don't know what RCT means, I'm like, uh, you know what? That's on you. But if you know that this man had the opportunity to use RCT to heal himself and said, Nah, I'm healing my attacks. I'm going on offensive mode. Defense. We're talking about Defense. In the game, you have to win by getting points, buckets. This is the stage for real hoopers. And if a real hooper's got those marks, that boy generational. That boy generational, man. He got the handout, too. Like, he's about to be in a Tekken fight. Like, come. Like, absolutely awesome, man. I only see one right there uh, in English right there saying in the rest of it's in kanji. And we're not going to try and uh, figure out what it means. But chapter 227, the decisive battle in the inhabited Demon Infest in Shinjuku, part five and by the way great cover right there with uh sukumo for volume 23 we got the hearts in the background stuff love that woman to bits all right here we go so i uh, see over there with the uh the shrine and everything there <sighs> gozo takes the offensive with an inexplicable trick 
using reverse curse technique to heal his exhausted curse technique. By the way, I absolutely love that shot. The one that if you've seen like in the last page and everything of like Gojo going like this and everything, like you know, like damn, like I don't like it. Just I don't know. There's something about that panel is just so beast to me. Like like when you look at that thing, you're like, that's raw, that's swagness, that's greatness, man. Absolutely awesome. A Koltsu. I like to say it's what's wrong with my boy. Why do you stand up all like nervous and stuff? I like to say it's impossible, but the fact is. Gojo Sensei is doing just that. Okay. A curse technique that's been burnt out by using domain expansion is an entirely different matter than physical damage. Just like when a machine overheats, even if it isn't broken, you have to let it cool or it won't work. So, I mean, he's he's exhausting all his options right now at the moment. So, what you're saying is that reverse curse technique can repair damage but can't cool an overheated technique. That's what I always thought. It looks like my understanding was incomplete. I love how Panda's just like chilling there right there on the corner and everything. Like, yeah, like I know what's going on. I know I know what's happening, but he's just like me right now. Just like, you know what? Let me listen to what's happening and then uh, we'll process some thoughts after. Wait, is that true? Gojo Sensei may just be doing something unbelievable right now. God, look at how raw this man is. We got the steam, all this stuff. Oh, whatever, smoke. No matter what the hell it is in the background stuff. That boy got a smile on his face. And he's happy again. You can expand your effective range, can't you? And I also see right there the markings are completely gone as well. So I think the RCT is, in fact, uh, he decided to heal up some of it. Because he's like, look, as raw as I may look in that little color, the color spread and stuff, you know, and everything. But let's be honest with ourselves. He has an image to protect, all right? We know that this man is a unit mover. He sells merchandise. And sometimes scars for grown men like myself, we, we love it. But to the other side, not really. And we are still in the month of June, so we have uh, you know, we have some things to take care of. But you see there afterwards with Sukuna, it looks like he healed up too because he has a little bit of markings on the back and stuff afterwards. So I think his face might be okay now, possibly. The instant Sukuna expanded the range of his Melvin Shrine to its max and right away. He went right away. He threw up the gang signs immediately. He did not even give him a chance to be able to explain any further. The narrator was about to go in depth. Tell me something that I need to know. And he said, Oh my, what motion did Like, it's not happening for you, player. Are you crazy? What the hell are you thinking? Infant. <laughs> Yo. No, 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 no. I've been disrespectful already as it is. Continuing on with just one title belt. And if the other one doesn't come over here, I'm going to get rattled. And it's over here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. It is not. It is not just one. It is not just two. Ladies and gentlemen. In actuality. In fact. It's three. We're talking about infinite mother flipping void. You got the scars are all gone. He's got the, the, the wacko face on and everything. Gozo Satoru expanded his domain once more. Some people need to throw up two hands to tell you what set you're from. Like, you know, like right now, he just did this. He's like, you five me? He, you, you know what I'm saying? How you five about it? Like, like just got ask Gozo right now, and he's going to show you exactly what's about to happen. And you're seeing the look on everyone. Everyone just like, damn. Like, you see, like, little different, like, uh, little boxes and stuff here. Everything, like, almost like little TVs and stuff for everyone's reaction. Because they're seeing right now things about to get crazy. Does he, does he, does he just want the same thing to happen again? He isn't that naive. I see. He switched the internal and external conditions for this barrier. Huh? It isn't breaking this time, man. I just see the, jeez. Which means this barrier can guard itself against attacks from the outside. Well, here's the thing. We saw what happened last time when Gozo and, you know, the battle of the domains and stuff, right? And once that Sakunas was able to go outside it, do the little overlap or the underlap, whichever one you want to go with. And because that allowed for things to attack from the outside, that barrier was weak. Now it's protecting what's on the outside. But does that mean that the inside is going to have enough structure in there to protect himself from any possible damage? That is to be seen. It seems a bit unfair that he can just change the conditions on his domain on the fly. Which, 
but then the thing is though it's like for characters like him that you know with this kind of type of strength and craziness to him and stuff this is something you would have to expect at the very least from gojo like characters like maybe like a yuji megami you know if let's say in megami's case for his domain because it's still incomplete maybe not be able to do something like that but someone who's been there done that has experience and everything like it wouldn't seem so crazy to think that gojo could pull something like that off Let's take this from the top and see from the shrine. I don't see him on the top. Because they are going straight at it. Here we go. Right away, you see a knee coming in from Gojo. But he gets caught right underneath afterwards by Sukuna. And they are slap boxing it up. They, bro, listen. They watched the Ishii versus Moxley match on Dynamite this week on AEW. And they are just slap boxing around. Just bang, 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 bang. Trying to hit one another. But you're seeing like, you know, well, hits. Blocks right there in it. Did he get hit in the neck? He's just like, wait, no, no. He's just going like this. Like, oh, what? Are you serious? Sukuna. Can use domain expansion and domain amplification at the same time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He did not take that into account, did he? Is he getting used to this? And his output is increasing to more than before. I guess that isn't impossible. While using domain amplification, you cannot use the enact technique etched into your body. Once a curse technique is granted to a domain, it's a whole new ball game. Oh boy, and he got, oh no, oh no. Sakura's just like, huh? Huh? Mazaka? You got the Mazaka? Oh, damn, bro. White eyes goes out. was about to go bang, and then you just see right after Sukuna's just like, nope, hit the dodge right there immediately. Said, no, you're not gonna swing on me like that. And he goes to the left, but the white eyes right there from Gojo, I he barely get him because you see like a tuck, almost like a little like the marking of like the um, almost like like a hitting like a clang or something. But it's like, one of those like almost like a like a friction, like when you like you just like barely hit something like grazing it. It almost looked like it was that, but you see from underneath. Well, and did he catch? Caught him. Caught him. Caught him. Right in the midst. That's a straight up boxer's left. Combs him with the knuckles. Bam. Bashes him in. Who gives a shit? And then you see from the eyes right after there from Sakuna. It's like, yeah, you hit me, but. But. Brother, why you got them eyes? What? While inside my domain, Sukuna turned off his sure hit effect. Oh boy. Oh boy. They're back to back as well. We we've upgraded from leg locks to back to back. If they go front, bro, oh, it's it's about to be curtains. It's gonna be curtains. And he's throwing up gang signs too still, bro. Like don't you have any shame? Don't you have any shame? Just throw a right. Do something, man. The only ones unaffected by the infinite void are, and oh god, and then you see, of course, from Kanjaku, are Gojo Satoru himself and anyone that he directly touches. I've already gotten first hand experience there. In order to destroy Gojo Satoru's domain from the outside, Sukuna expanded his effective range and increased the power of his binding valve even further than he did in Shibuya. Using a binding valve, Sukuna managed to further increase the power of his domain outside Gojo's domain by removing his sure hit guarantee inside the domain. While simultaneously keeping himself safe from the infinite void by touching Gojo Satoru directly. This is almost similar. Maybe not too exact, but like in terms of like the feel touch, like to like halt momentum. If you remember from Bleach, Aizen, Gin, right? Sukuyomi and or, or whatever, like the Kyoto Sugetsu, right? Like the name of the damn uh, Zanpakuto. The moment you touch the blade, Owarida. No, uh, hypnosis and stuff almost similar to that basically 
It's like almost like literally going to like a checkpoint basically in a game where it's like even if I die right there and then I'm gonna keep coming back to the spot right here. So as long as I'm here, I'm good. Once again, and I see breaking like the air itself, and more so I think is the barrier. And yeah, the barrier has smashed. Oh my god. And they see the shrine still there and everything. Oh Lord, help me now. And he has that look. It's not like a scary look, but you know one of those things when you get like the eye like this and you're just looking like, oh damn. He really just did that. Gojo Satoru's domain collapses. Take it from the top. Hey. Oh Jesus. Now he's back on the cleave. This man's back on the cleave immediately. And just starts going right at Gojo. And the markings that we thought were going to be gone, all back. At least from where I'm seeing from the arms and everything, that thing is all back. And he's just there just chilling like this thing. <laughs> Throwing up the Bang Bang Gang, man. Why? It looks like Sukuna has also changed the conditions of his domain somehow. Hey. Is that Akaria said that? If he dies, oh, if he dies, I'm going out there next. Don't try to stop me. I mean, I know Kashimo wants that fight with Sukuna, but understand this: there's no chance right here that Goza goes out like this. So you might have to wait your turn just a little bit longer at the very least, right? Sukuna's just giving this look. Jesus. Oh, the wounds are shallow. Oh. Well, regardless, you pray because you have to pray. But even then, man, like, other people in this case scenario are going to be in absolute viscerine pain. But it just shows you the tolerance right there that Gojo has to be able to withstand something like this at the very least. But still, the wounds are shallow. And you see all the markings there, even towards the face. Learned this one when I was a kid. I haven't used it much since I mastered my domain, but... Yo, look at it, look at him. Like, nah, bro, this is just so raw, bro. Nah, put it back on, put it back on. What am I doing? I'm disrespecting my sensei, bro. Man's out here doing the most right now. He is just getting scarred up and everything. I'm not here holding his championship belts like I'm Paul Heyman. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be right there for my tribal chief, my tribal sensei. Like, come on, man. My guy's out here. Like, even if he's not on offense right now, the ball's not in his hand. My man, the block, swipe, steals, all that. And he is still able to put on the crazy face. His eyelids all mangled too, probably. Bro, this guy's going through the stuff right now, man. And he's probably just chilled right now. Like, he's getting hit, but he's just chilling too. Falling blossom emotion. Kuzakabe, what are we on right now, bro? What is that? Not sure. Don't know. No idea. <laughs> so stupid. And this is an important fight. You want to throw dumb shit like this? Like, come on. It's weird how in the know you are, Achan. It's a secret art of the big three. Do tell. It's a secret art of the big three sorcerer families. An anti-domain technique. Not so secret if you knew about it. Because got got yo, panda. <laughs> I told you about it. He was waiting. A little bastard was waiting. He's like, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to get some information. And then he just goes and hits a retort right there, man. That's his three points for the night. It's an, app it's an application of cursed energy that automatically repels anything you touch. Smack. So, okay, he smacked his arm. It doesn't do a thing against the effects of complex domains like infinite void. But if you're up against a simple technique like Sukuna Slashes... It's pretty useful. Wait a minute. So this guy's got himself a mirror force? That brother's about to pull out the trap card and say, like, I got a mirror force right there waiting for you, bro. Literally? It won't be torn apart like a simple domain either, but you won't come out unscathed. It isn't a technique strong enough to rival the output of a domain. Oh, but now nah, let me keep it on. I gotta keep it on. But I see something right there. It might be double spread, bro. It might be double spread. It's enough. 
And Gojo can heal his burnt out curse technique with reverse curse technique. At the very least, he'll buy enough time to heal. Jeez. Really? Look at bro. Look at you, bro. Gojo just like chilling. He's just like, yo, so nervous. My man stood up. He was literally mean during the Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay match this week in the Scotiabank Arena. I'm literally just like this, watching the match, all nervous, jumping out of my chair and stuff, going crazy and everything. And then afterwards, it just starts to set in afterwards. I'm watching two of the greatest the game has to ever offer. Just go at it. But he's more so nervous than the fact that someone could actually die right here and now. Domain expansion. Oh, God. Look at that eye, man. Look at that eye. That brother is ready for war. Again, no. This time he, it's huge. Does, yeah, I see right here. Yeah, that's a massive domain because you see like where it's going through like the building and stuff afterwards, like the, the mark. Does he plan to capture Sakuna's entire domain range within his barrier? It's like barrier on barriers, basically. Like I said, the way he just switches up his domain's conditions is plain unfair. But this is the greatest sorcerer of the present day. Like, bro, you both gonna be doing stuff like this all the time? What do you mean? Isn't this a bad move? By expanding the range of the barrier, the quality of the domain itself will decrease considerably. So it's like, literally, he's putting on, uh, it's like it's like attack and defense points, and then there's like something in the middle, and the middle thing is getting what it needs, right? Like the range or whatever. But the defense is the one that's taking the L. But as long as he has enough attack points, he's just gonna go in there and just do the business. Even if we, even if the domain won't be destroyed from the outside anymore, it's meaningless if he loses on the inside. And I see the thing being chipped away and stuff as the cracks. Did it not work? Look at Kirata, bro. Kirata's just like, like oh, Mazakan, no, yeah, they're all like, so nervous, bro. They're all nervous and everything. And Ikari just, I don't know, listen, that hand position right now is absolutely crazy since what month we're in right now. And you see the rest of them are just like, all like, damn, like, this is about to get nuts. But like, this is some wild stuff, man. Wait. The barrier. Momo, what do you know? What do you know? The barrier is quickly becoming. Wait, it's like it's going. But wait, it was expanding like this, and then it's like going right back in. So, th what? Oh God! This is like, bro. This feels like something like a Majin Buu thing right here, man. It's so tiny. The battle between the strongest becomes more dense. Oh, but then here's the... Th oh, my God. I just realized... Okay. So, when he expands it, defense is gone. If it's the size of a freaking... Like, when you're playing pool, like, billiards and stuff. Like, the little eight ball and stuff, right? Like, how dense. Oh, he's going to chop him in there. And if he uses, like, a surefire... The bear is not going to break, so whatever he hits him with in there afterwards is what he's banking on to try and get the dub. That has to be what it is. Gozo's going to let off a hollow purple, or a hollow rainbow at the rate that things are going. And that thing is going to have to connect with Sukuna. Essentially, that's what has to be. I mean, if someone knows anything different on the way it's being expanded, and again, in my head, right now, the way I'm processing is maybe a little bit different from everyone else. But if that's how you see it, like, I think he's going to hit a hollow purple while being in there because it's going to be all dense. The surefire could be there for him. And then it's like, bang, a wadi da. But then at the same time, too, Sukuna could still have something afterwards to try and stop it. That's like the only thing I can think of. But if you make it that dense, then you're hoping that the fact that whatever you have right now in stock in terms of your own attack power is enough to be able to do the damage. So that's crazy, man. I'm just thinking, like, it's going big, then it goes small, and then it's just so tiny, 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 and then this is where we are. But, yeah, that's... Look, man, if anyone knows exactly how they're going to try and come away from this fight with a W, no matter if they're going to walk out of this with, like, multiple scars, damage, that they're going to feel for, like, eons, until, like, their dying breath. Even when they get put in the dirt, and they get risen up afterwards as a mere soul going up to purgatory, that bro is going to be feeling all the pain. That he's gone through in this fight. But if it means this moment right here allows him to get this win, by all means necessary. Fire chapter to come back from. But truly, next chapter, depending on the way Gege does this, could it really be a difference maker in terms of getting closer to the end of the fight? Even though I could still see going maybe a Leonard two or three chapters. Again, depends really on the direction where we go from here. 
But this feels like one of those moments where like you're going into a stretch, like in a wrestling match, where you're going to that stretch where he could be hitting a finishing move right now, but then get hit with a reversal, and then it's like you don't know where it can go from thereafter. So this is going to be very interesting, man. If this thing works out, then that's big. But at the same time, is that going to consume a lot of the energy that Sukuna ha or uh, that Gozo has? And if it does, he has to bank that it works. Because if it does, then Sukuna could come back and just absolutely de decimate him. But that's going to have to be seen for next week. But guys, great stuff here. This was a great chapter to come back to from the break week. Glad I didn't see anything there in terms of the popularity poll. So maybe I'll get posted information of that afterwards. When I do get it, and then we'll go into detail. But guys, let me know your thoughts uh, down in the comments below regarding this week's chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen. Let me know how we are feeling about the fight so far. And in terms of what exactly Gojo just did at the end, in terms of making his barrier all tiny and everything, right? To get the density of the defense, to possibly ensure that whatever Sheriff hit attack, you know, whether it be hollow purple, red, blue, anything that he has right now in his arsenal, whatever he's going to try and use, do you think that this is going to be what he's banking on to change the ties of the fight or possibly even finish it? Let me know down in the comments. If you feel like there's anything different or any clarifications, input, any other thought process you have regarding all this, please let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel because you're new here if you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of Jujutsu Kaisen week in, week out with the manga and hopefully with the anime. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell of Shandora to stay up to date where everything goes on the channel. And with that being said, Hopefully, I will catch you guys next week around this time for the manga. If not, more than likely for the anime. But I cannot wait, man, because we are going to be going back to back, week in and week out, with nothing but greatness from Akutame Gege's masterpiece. 80 million copies sold across the globe, and that number is just going to keep on going up because we got hidden inventory. We got the evening festival before we kick off the arc of legend that put this manga on the pedestal it is right now at the very summit of the game that lets me carry three titles on my shoulder we're talking about the shibuya incident and ladies and gentlemen if this is for whatever reason you just stumbled upon this channel you clicked the video and you thought what is this guy talking about shibuya incident you're gonna find out you're gonna find out very soon and when you do get ready commodore last signing off thanks so much for watching and as always take care Going crazy. Yeah, we go.